bastards may take. Exactly what I give you! This is Return of the Oberdin. It's a very unique looking game, so I wondered if maybe a VR port could be possible. I've created some unofficial VR ports before, like the Nomai VR mod for Auto Wilds, and more recently the Two Forks VR mod for Firewatch. And since Oberdin is also a Unity game, I thought that maybe I can use the same methods to force it into VR mode. I learned how to do this when I was doing my first VR mod, the one for Auto Wilds. I basically just installed the same Unity version that the game uses. Then I can create an empty Unity project with it and I build the project. Once with VR disabled and then again with VR enabled. And then I can compare these two builds and see the differences in the files. And when I do that, the first thing that I notice is that there are these new plugin DLL files. And those are pretty easy to take care of, you can just copy them to the game you want to mod into VR. But that's not enough. Uh, there's another important difference and that's this global game managers file. This file has a lot of important information about the game, like project settings and asset references. And it is possible to modify it. My favorite way to do it is with this app called Uwamala. If I analyze global game managers using this app, I can look under build settings and there's this entry called enabled VR devices, which for a non-VR game is gonna be empty. And for a VR game, it's gonna have the list of VR SDKs that you pick in the Unity editor when you enable VR mode. Now, after just doing this change to the global game managers file and with the plugin DLLs, a lot of Unity games already work in VR. They'll be detected by SteamVR or, or Oculus, and you'll already have a fully tracked VR camera because Unity just does that automatically. But of course, in these games, you'll have a lot of bugs because the game isn't prepared to having the camera moving in this way. But for Oberdin, this isn't the case. Just making these changes isn't enough. And that's because Oberdin only supports DirectX 9. And DirectX 9 isn't compatible with these VR SDKs that Unity lets you select. So you can see here, again, under build settings, there's this entry called Graphics APIs. And the only entry here in Oberdin is the ID number 1. While a game that supports DirectX 11 would have the ID number 2 in this list. There's definitely people out there who are smart enough to make this game work in VR while keeping it as a DirectX 9 game and keeping all the shaders working somehow. But that would just require working on a much lower level than what I'm used to. What I'm trying to do is to use the tools that Unity already provides me. And for that I need to force Oberdin to support DirectX 11 mode. If we change Global Game Managers to make Oberdin support DirectX 11, it will now start in VR mode. You can see here how Steam VR shows Oberdin running, but there's nothing showing on the screen and nothing showing in the VR headset. And that's because all of the shaders were compiled for DirectX 9. And now we are forcing it to run in DirectX 11, so nothing is working properly. I'm not really comfortable messing with shader stuff, I don't really know that much about shaders and reverse engineering them would be really difficult, so I'm just gonna avoid them completely and just work around them. I need to learn how the game is structured so that I can know what do I need to modify to make a VR camera work in this game. And the easiest way to do that is with this tool called Unity Explorer. It's kinda like inspecting a Unity scene in the editor except it runs in the built game. This is useful for instance for finding which objects I can attach my VR camera to, or which components I need to change, etc. One thing that I learned from digging through all of these objects is that the black and white effect is controlled by this one bit component and I can enable debug mode in this component which bypasses the shader and makes the UI become visible. This is useful even though it still looks extremely broken but at least I can navigate the menus a bit. This debug mode doesn't help with the 3D scenes so my solution here is to just create a separate camera for VR and yeah now I can see stuff and everything looks really weird, like a lot of magenta and green. I didn't really look too deeply into it, but it seems like the different colors have different purposes for how the images gotta be rendered. But at least now that I know the general structure of the game and what needs to be done for VR to work, I can write my own code to do all of this automatically. And I can add some lights and change the material colors, the camera positions and all of this to make the VR experience kind of work. 
for this video I'm gonna just skip over all the details of how I implemented all of this and the code that I wrote but let me know if this is something you'd like to know more about because maybe I'll do another video in the future about it and after a lot of trial and error this is the end result you bastards may take exactly what I give you It's not great, but it's interesting, I guess. Uh, a lot of the game mechanics are still just completely missing. A huge chunk of the game just depends on those shaders. For instance, this floating ghost light thing, and these bullet particles, and this shiny object in the distance, they all become invisible to the new VR camera. So these visuals would need to be remade from scratch to make the game fully playable in VR with this method. So it seems like finishing this project would be just a huge amount of work for something that would probably just end up being vastly inferior to the original product. So even though I had fun figuring all of this out, I'm just not gonna go any further. So yeah, if you're interested in trying Oberdin in VR, this mod is available for download on my Patreon. And this also gives you access to any other VR mods that I'm working on, like the one for Firewatch or the one for Pray for the Gods. So be sure to check it out and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this or if you know any other Unity games that you'd like to see in VR.